Hey guys, Donovan here. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and take you actually on a driving tour with me. We're gonna drive around Northwest Gainesville a little bit, try to give you a feel for what this side of Gainesville actually looks and feels like. If you like this type of video, please let me know. Give it a like, comment, let me know somehow so I can do more of these. But let's get out in Gainesville, see what things look like and go from there. So one of the first neighborhoods I'll mention that we're gonna pass by is gonna be Westchester. Now in Northwest Gainesville, there's not a ton of newer construction that has been happening. There are a few newer neighborhoods, but not a lot. Westchester is gonna be one of those newer neighborhoods though. The home started around 2000 and they just finished up construction in 2019, 2020. The homes over here, you can expect them to cost around 300 to about $500,000. The lot sizes are just over 6,000 square feet. And again, it's just a newer, nicer community. They do have a community pool. It's definitely something to check out if you're looking in this area of town. So coming up here on the right is gonna be Ashton, another great Gainesville neighborhood over on the northwest side of town. Over here, you can expect home prices to range around $400,000 to $600,000. They're all gonna be on about a third of an acre. The homes over here were, were built in the 90s. So again, just some beautiful homes. The landscaping and everything is grown and matured, some beautiful trees. So a great Gainesville neighborhood and right across the street, walking distance back to Talbot Elementary School, which traditionally has been an A-level school. So if you've got those school age elementary school kids, definitely a great neighborhood and a great area to check out. Now, if you go a little bit further down 53rd Street, which is Millhopper Road, you will go to Devil's Millhopper, the Geological State Park. Really neat area, definitely worth visiting. It's one of the largest sinkholes in the area. You can take a stairway all the way down, check it out. It's a really neat way to spend an afternoon. So now coming up to 53rd and 43rd, you've got a public shopping center over here with Volcanic Sushi, Paisano's, one of our favorite restaurants. Um, and then across the street, another little shopping three with shopping center with uh, Yo3 Metro, Cedar River Seafood, CVS, those sort of things. Um, right behind that shopping center is also gonna be Possum Creek Park, Gainesville's primary skate park. They've also got a playground and the dog park there. So lots of stuff to do. So now as you cross over 23rd Avenue, there is another public shopping center over here with a couple of local shops. You do have a post office down on the end and also Bagel Bakery. Then across the street of 23rd, you've got another grocery store and Fresh Market, Upper Crust Bakery, which is really good. And then also Flying Biscuit Cafe. So a lot of stuff in this part of town and area to check out. So one popular shopping area on this northwest side of town is gonna to be Thornbrook Village. There are a lot of really cute local shops, some restaurants, you've got the Women's Games Health and Fitness Center. So definitely a fun place to spend an afternoon doing some shopping. They also put on a pretty big arts uh, festival during spring and fall, so that's something else to keep an eye out. But overall, this part of town has a lot more of your local shops, but then a lot of small businesses, office, areas and that sort of thing. Now we'll go down to 39th Avenue and we're gonna pick it up from 13th and head back west. So at the intersection of 13th and 39th, you do have another public shopping center with all of the normal stuff in that area. Across the street on 13th, you've also got an Aldi. As you go down a little bit on 39th, on the right, you get into Hazel Heights, a residential area. Those homes are actually built in the 60s. Most of the prices over there will range from the mid 100s on up to about $350,000. The lots are usually around a quarter of an acre, but this is a nice location if you still wanna be close to downtown, campus, all of that sort of stuff, because again, 13th is 441, and that'll be a straight shot into campus and the hospital or back out to Alachua. So lots of easy routes and roads to take from this location. This section of Northwest 39th will have a lot more residential areas, some sort of older Gainesville traditional style homes. There's not as many named subdivisions and neighborhoods, but a lot of side streets with individual homes on it. Again, most of these homes are going to be built in the 60s and 70s traditional ranch style homes. And again, a convenient location. You do have a park right across the street 
and the girls club in this area so there are still some things to do around all the residential homes so just up here on the right you've got spring tree which is a more popular well-known neighborhood off of 39th avenue the homes in spring tree were built in the 70s and 80s most of them will be on about a quarter of an acre maybe up closer to a third of an acre and the prices over here will be in the mid upper 100s as a starting point like 175 going on up closer to three hundred thousand dollars so then actually as you come up to northwest 34th street out to the right you'll have the local ymca with a pool basketball courts all of that sort of stuff and if you head back left you'll head back to the university of florida Newberry Road, the main sort of center hub of Gainesville. So as we come back up to 43rd Street, uh, one other popular, actually two popular neighborhoods that are connected is gonna be Monterey and the Valley. You can get to the neighborhood, both of them actually, from each street, 39th or 43rd. The homes over here were built mainly in the 70s and the prices are gonna range in that 300 to $400,000 price range they're pretty much all on about a third of an acre some of the lots are slightly larger but again this is a really nice neighborhood convenient location where you're still pretty close to everything but you don't feel like you're in the middle of everything so now just up here on the right you do have magnolia park with a few different restaurants you've got crafty bastards one love cafe ichvan sushi so a lot of good restaurants in this small park area along with some doctor's offices and apartments that sort of thing Across the street, you do have another small shopping center with some offices and some more restaurants. And one of the really good seafood restaurants over here that I would definitely recommend is going to be Northwest Seafood. So if you're in this area, you definitely want to check that out. A little bit further up on your right is going to be the entrance to Huntington. This is a really pretty, beautiful neighborhood, lots of trees. The homes were built in the 90s for the most part. Arthur Ruttenberg style homes and all of them are a little bit larger most of the homes are about 2,500 on over 3,000 square feet and they're also on larger lots about half an acre some a little bit larger than that even in this area you can expect home prices in the sort of low 400,000 on up over $600,000 so another great neighborhood over in Northwest Gainesville that you might want to check out is going to be Emerald Woods the thing I like about this neighborhood is there are a ton of trees. There's also just a lot of character. The homes aren't exactly the same. There's a lot of variety. The home sizes are gonna range from just under 2,000 square feet on up over 3,000 square feet. And the, all of these homes are gonna be built in the late mid 70s, early 80s. And the lot sizes for the most part are right around half an acre, some a little bit larger. But when it comes to pricing in the neighborhood, you can expect the homes to be priced in that three to $500,000 range. Now, as you get towards the end of 39th, you'll come up to Santa Fe College, some more apartments, a little shopping center, a few things to do over here. One thing that you may wanna check out, especially if you've got kids, it'll be the Santa Fe Teaching Zoo, a neat place to spend an afternoon, take the kids and see some of the animals. Now, a little bit further up, just past Santa Fe College is gonna be the I-75 exit. This is gonna be the most northern Gainesville exit, so the last chance to exit off of I-75 and stay in Gainesville. Then on the other side of that, we've got another neighborhood to take you through, which is going to be Wellington. And then just past Wellington, Meadowbrook Elementary School, which is a pretty popular elementary school. Traditionally, it gets good grades, so one to look at if you've got elementary school age children. So now that you have a better feel for the northwest side of Gainesville, what you'll want to do next is go ahead and watch this video, where I drive you around some of the most popular neighborhoods in our area to show you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to Gainesville.